In a previous video, I showed you how to update the FSI 6 cheap under $50 transmitter to a, a far better firmware. Today, we'll take it and update it again and add full RSSI alarms and timers. Welcome back to the channel guys. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that thumbs up and subscribe. If there wasn't already enough reasons to love the under $50 FSI 6 radio, there certainly is now. You can pick up these radios on eBay for under 50 bucks and today we're going to flash it so yours can look like this. Significantly different than before. Up at the top here, we have a timer. The timer is at zero right now. You can set it to trigger on anything you like. I have mine set to throttle. So as soon as we move the throttle, it's gonna start counting up. I have it set for 10 seconds here and hopefully it'll alarm. Perfect. We get a beep, beep, beep. Pretty quiet beep. I wish it was a little louder, but heck, it works. To clear the timer, you just hold cancel and it should clear back to zero. Perfect. Similar to the FS or the uh, TH9X. In the corner, we have a DB reading. This is the RSSI value coming back from our receiver. You do need to have a telemetry capable receiver for that to function. Down below, we also have the voltage coming back from our onboard battery. This is just uh, reading the uh, five volts to the flight control. We can change that with a simple little hack and we can hook right into our four cell LiPo. We'll do that in an upcoming video. But the basics of this are with this new firmware, you go into the menu structure and you're gonna get a new menu. You're gonna get Here's the timer, we have it set to three, uh, the value of 1200, so when the stick value is at 1200, and then I just have it for 10 seconds just for the video. But we can also set alarms on anything we want. Error percentage, RSSI, which I'm going to use, this is the number one reason I wanted it. Signal to noise ratios, tons and tons of configurability in here, and you can set three different alarms. I love it can't be happier about this. Let's go ahead and show you how to do it. First things first, you're going to need an interface. In the previous video, I used a simple FTDI adapter. You can go ahead and do it that way. I also since then have bought a USB cable. Uh, I got this from Great Hobbies. I think it was $7 or something. I'll put the screen overlay up. Good cheap investment. You do have to download the drivers from this, uh, from Scilabs, just do a Google search and you'll find it, no problem. It tells you what it is. Uh, my Windows 7 machine recognized it, but my Windows 8 did not. You need to do this on a Windows 8 machine. Don't try this on XP or Windows 7, or this particular method is not going to work. I'll link all of this instructions in the description below, but from the RC group thread is where you're gonna wanna go just to check and see if the firmware is the most up to date. You're gonna download the uh, flashing utility from GitHub, and then you're going to download the bin file that we're going to use. This is the Kali 9 that I'm using in this video. It's the most recent now that gives me these timers. You're gonna put the Kali 9 uh, bin file into the same folder as your updater. Then you're gonna update the run batch file to change the file name. So this way the updater is going to point and, and send the right bin file to our transmitter. That's it. Save that batch file after you have edited it. And then we're gonna get ready to run that in a second. First off, let's go ahead. You gotta plug in your radio. Make sure, other end, plug in your computer, obviously. And then we're gonna put the radio into firmware update mode. To do that, you're gonna hold down trim and right rudder trim and turn it on. And you're gonna see nothing happens here. Uh, you get nothing on the screen. We're in update mode. So then we go and run the batch file. The batch file is gonna run, it's only gonna take a few seconds. If it can't find the COM port or has troubles, you need to go and look at your programmer and your drivers for that and make sure again that you're on Windows 8 PC. This took me a while to get by. Once it's updated, the radio is gonna reboot and that's it. On reboot, you're gonna be greeted with this new menu structure. Your model names will probably come through. Everything in the memory should be there, but expect to lose it. Expect to have to reprogram your model names and any special curves or whatever. 
that's it. You're ready to go. Go ahead and set up your timers and your alarms and enjoy this firmware. But most importantly, make sure you go over to the RC Groups thread and you're going to be there anyway. Make sure you're registered and say thanks to the guys supporting everyone and the developers developing this firmware and making it free to all of us to use. We basically have the functionality, the really basic functionality of a Tyrannus now for an under $50 radio. Can't thank them enough. Make sure you send them some love, guys. Thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week with new videos and new projects and new live shows. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you soon.